Hey guys, what is going on? I'm Exceptional Rounder here, and this is the first video in a series of 30. And I'm going to be calling this 30 Days in Game of War, your first 30 days. So, here we go. Um, the first thing you're going to do, if you don't have an account already, is go to Start New Game in the lower left. I'm going to use my uh, mouse cursor to, to point out what I'm doing a little bit. And you will notice that. Uh, you're going to go through the tutorial, and I'm just going to talk about a few different things while I go through the tutorial, and uh, you know, let you know if there's anything interesting as we go. This first day is going to be a little bit of a familiarization, so don't expect anything revolutionary to come. We're really just going to follow the tutorial, get through that, and talk about what's coming up in the day two video. So right now, pretty straightforward, we click where the green arrow points, and that's about it. Now, one of the things I want to mention early on is to make sure that you get your account set up. So what I mean by that is uh, make sure that you set up your account so you can log on on different devices. It makes it so that if you, if for whatever reason your device crashes or something happens, your account is actually registered and online and you can get to it from you know, any device. Um, as far as collecting quest rewards, there's a, 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 I don't always like to um, collect all of these right away because uh, you'll find out tomorrow but or in the next video, not necessarily tomorrow if you're watching this uh, any time other than the day it comes out. Um, yep, I'm over 13. You'll find that there's something we try to do in... in uh, in the way I start things up. Um, you want to make sure you join an alliance right away. It doesn't matter. I like to just go for one that has a lot of people. Um, none of these really have a lot of people, so I'll go with the one that has the most, or 20. I don't know. I guess there was one with 29 down there. Do our free casino spin, which we get uh, in one of those a day. And then we'll make sure we start our daily and alliance quests. So those are, those are very, very basic things that you'll uh, want to make sure you're always doing. And then go ahead and make sure that your VIP is activated. Um, we can do this by just adding points. We have 200 gold now, and we can go ahead and use 150 of that and add 100 VIP points. I always do that on a new kingdom because it um, gets your VIP activated and makes it so you can build a little bit faster. Also, make sure you're always hitting help, help out your alliance. So the first thing we want to do, or the first thing I'm going to show you guys, and also make sure you, you know it's a little bit easier if you zoom out on the kingdom. Um, if I'm going a little faster, you guys miss something. Obviously, you can rewind. But if uh, there's, uh, you know, questions, something you think I overlooked, just go ahead and leave it in the comments, and I'll try to get to it. I want to keep this video brief. I'm going to keep all of these brief, and cover things uh, over a series of videos. But uh, one important thing that you do want to do is create an account. Um, for this account, I'm going to go ahead and uh, let's see here. Um, let me just cover this up. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to go ahead and put in my an email. Oh, well, yeah. Sorry. Um, <laughs> sorry. Let me just. Ah! There we go. And, you know, just make sure that you guys uh, put in a decent password. Alright, so, once you submit, you'll get a validation email. It looks something like that. 
Uh, an email has been sent to your indicated address. Please use the link. Okay. And we are good. So resize that. And then um, let me uh, pause the video real quick. And you'll see that once you go ahead and confirm your account, you will get this message saying that you're all set. It's been confirmed and now you can go ahead and log in, log out, uh, no problem. So that's that. Now, next thing that you wanna do, um, and I've got a little list, so account setup, bam, we've got our account set up. Uh, the next thing that you might wanna do is some customization. You may notice that your little hero dude is some ugly guy and you might not like your avatar. Um, which is right here. So we can go ahead and change our profile image. Uh, I'm gonna be this hooded guy. All right. So you can go ahead and change that. And then see how we've got this empire name here? Um, let me show you how to get to that. You wanna click on this power uh, section up at the top. Go ahead and click that. And see how you have this empire and then a bunch of numbers? Generally, one of the first things that alliances want you to do is change that. So let's go ahead and change that right away. Now, there's a couple ways to do it. And one of them is trying to type in your alliance chat. Hi. It says, you must create a player name to use chat. Press OK to go create a name. So we're going to create a name. And this is our player name. So uh, ours is going to be you rounder. See if it's mm, somebody took it. <laughs> Don't like that. Um, hmm. So let's see. Uh, man. So let's go. You. There we go. What? It's just rude. Um. Ah. Let's try this. Game of War strategy. All right. So now we can say, hi guys. All right. Now notice we just got 100 points, uh, 100 VIP gift points. So let's go ahead and, uh, uh, well, let's finish customizing. So we have, we have the character avatar that we want we have a name that we like uh, there's a couple other things we can name let's go to items and you can go ahead and use these whenever you're ready or whenever you want uh, immediately is fine but if you go into the special tabs in your items one more time you go to the bottom of the screen click items and then these tabs at the top you'll see special resources speed ups war and treasures go over to that special tab and click that and then scroll to the bottom and you'll see we've got a few uh, items left. We've got, now this is the other way to get to the ones we already used, but hero rename. Let's go ahead and name our hero. Uh, let's name him, he kind of looks like, uh, I don't know how to spell it, Strider. Uh, I don't like that, Strider. All right, Strider's good. I'm not sure if that's how you spell it, but that's um, obviously Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. City rename. Let's get a cool city. Uh, let's go Minas Tirith. Okay. Minas Tirith is our city name and then our hero select. So who do we want our hero to be? Uh, and let's go with this lovely little blonde lady here. She's nice looking. So now we have really customized 
everything. So we've got a, you know, we've got our own hero, we've got our own hero name. So you can kind of, you know, when another player looks at us or when our alliance looks at us, they can see that we're we're active, we're playing the game, and and that's what they're going to want to see. Now, um, yeah, it's taking longer than I wanted to. So let's go through uh, one more thing uh, before we call this a video. And then uh, in the next video, we'll go ahead and do some more walking through the tutorial. I'll show you guys how to do uh, get to 60,000 power in your first hour of playing, which I already have a video on. So if you want to get a jump on that, go ahead and check out the 60K power video that I have on my YouTube channel. And uh, we'll talk about your, your building plans and your research plans uh, a little bit and some other stuff that I didn't quite cover in this video. Last thing I want to talk about uh, is one, make sure that uh, you do not go above Stronghold level 5. We are going to, uh, you'll find out why in uh, one of the next videos, but do not take your Stronghold above level 5 yet until, uh, until at least you check out, you know, video 2 and 3 to see uh, what the plan is for, or the reason for that is. Now, last thing, this screen right here, we're going to call the city screen. In the city screen, you have two sections. Up top, um, we, uh, what do I call this? The, uh, I don't even know, urban, maybe the urban section. And then this is like the resource section, rural. So listed below are your rural buildings, it says here at the top. So this is like the farming resource section, and this is, you know, the inner city, or, you know, inner city walls or urban section. So urban and rural. Now, if you go to the bottom left corner of the screen, um, see the little map or little you know, ice thing, that I generally call the map screen or the, uh, the kingdom view. So this is your kingdom. And you can see all the empire names. Those guys are all gonna eventually need to change their names. And you can scroll around and you'll find that this is, it's pretty big. And eventually you get to a wall uh, that's the border of another kingdom. Now if you want to see where your kingdom is in the entire world of Game of War, then you go up here and click this little map, I guess grid looking thing. So go ahead and click that. And you'll see that I'm in uh, Spyro. It's kingdom number 408 and it's a 16 day old kingdom. Now what is important about that is I don't want to start in a 16 day old kingdom. That means that this kingdom has players that are 16 days ahead of me, let alone, you know, not including the players that spend a lot of money. So, uh, as I'll show you in the next couple videos, we're not gonna stay in this kingdom. We're actually gonna go to a different kingdom. Most likely, we're gonna go to a kingdom that doesn't exist yet. So you stay tuned for the next video and I'll show you guys that. Now, last thing I'll leave you off on, we have the world screen and you can see there's some coliseums, there's a super wonder around here, lots of fun stuff. And then if we click on our kingdom, which has this little, little blinky symbol here, uh, we can click on that, hit enter kingdom, we will see our wonder. Now the wonder is, um, somewhere where you can pretty much battle and whatever alliance wins it gets special abilities you can read up on that by by clicking on it clicking information you can learn about it by reading all that stuff so I'm not gonna go into it too much but that's your wonder that's how you find it um, that's your kingdom that's your map screen uh, kingdom screen world screen and then your city screen also anytime that you are on your map screen feel free to look around the way to get back to your city is in the top left corner of the screen, right here. You just click that, and it'll recenter on your city. Um, and the city, it's the you'll notice that it says my name, not my city name. So if I click on this, m the owner is me, Game of War Strategy, and then it, at the very top, it's Minas Tirith. So just a little information. Last thing, last thing, I'm sorry this is going long. Uh, the help section is a great thing if you are looking for more information so where the heck is it <laughs> how to play 
it's the top left in the um, more screen, which is a tab at the bottom. And here, you can go ahead and read about all sorts of stuff. I would go ahead and um, school yourself up on beginner teleport. That's probably a good thing to learn about. Um, so read about that. Read about building. Um, read about uh, research, heroes. Uh, things like that would be good to read up on. Uh, MZ account, which we already created. So go ahead and poke around here, read up on VIP, and uh, you'll learn a lot. And I will see you guys for the next video tomorrow, and it'll be day two of Game of War, and uh, we'll see where everyone's at. Leave comments, let me know what you guys want to get out of this series, and hopefully you enjoyed it. And remember to subscribe, because these videos are going to be coming out every day for the next uh, 29 days. All right. Thanks, guys.